Right, we've made it into uh made it into France. We're staying at a um it's like a air. It's the first paid one. So I'll let you know how that goes. Um so we've just filled up on water, which is good, and which is over there in the distance. And then we're also linked up to electricity, which is just here. Um, it's cost nine euros fifty, which is what about eight quid for um, one night. It says you can stay a maximum of three, but then it says if you want to extend your stay, you, you have to pay um, before the seventy-two hours is up. So <laughs> what that means, I've no idea. Um, but it's like um, when we drove in, it's like a lot of holiday. Um, residences and there's a big lake here with an island in the middle but the lake goes out to the sea it's a bit weird you'd probably have to look it up on the map but we haven't been down the beach yet we can walk down the beach and then you can walk into the town over there I'm going to try and pronounce the town it's um, called View of Bau Cow Lebans um, Lesbans means on the water I think you just say lay um, Probably pronounced that totally wrong, but you know, uh, really picturesque setting though. It's quite nice weather as well. Sun's shining through a little bit, um, but you can see it's probably the busiest place we've been as well. There's quite a few motorhomes here. There's meant to be space for about 80 odd, um, so it's nowhere near full. Um, you just park up anywhere you want and plug yourself in. Plenty of those electricity points. It looks like there's about six on each. Um, so yeah, civilization. Um, I'm gonna have a wander into the beach with the dogs if they're allowed on, and also walk into the town. It's meant to be a 15 20 minute walk again, but I'll let you know about that. Just crossed over a little footbridge back there from the site, and uh, there's the, that's the few vans there. Walking down this track, which should take us into the uh, town over another little bridge not to go down to the beach yet because uh, Mrs. D's starving so I've got to go and get some food and a drink. So we're headed into town. Biggest ghost town yet. <laughs> Walked about half an hour around the town and seen about two restaurants and a couple of bars and every single one shut. And I don't mean like shut until like later on today. I think they're like shut for the winter. We just found a spa here. We're gonna get a sandwich or something in there, or pastry or something. Um, even that said on the outside, it was shutting at three and. Uh, oh, it shouldn't have won and opened again at 3.30, but it's 3 o'clock now and it's still open, so she's just popped in to get, try and get some food. I'm sitting at some bar tables, but obviously the uh, bar's closed, <laughs> so looks quite nice one as well if it had been open. So once we've got some food from the uh, spa, the plan is to continue having a little look up that way, seeing if we can find somewhere open for a drink. Absolutely mental. Don't you see that sign there? It says Bazaar Central, which it is bizarre. There's quite a few people mulling around. Well, there's not loads of people mulling around. I can imagine it being really busy in the summer with being on the beach and everything, but crazy this. Just been dick turpined at the local spa. One euro fifty for a fifty cl bottle of water. So Mrs. D got one between them <laughs> to go with it chicken and mustard sandwich that I've already demolished which was about 2.37 or something, 2.40 um, apparently I didn't go in because I had the little mutleys outside but apparently the uh, cans of coke were uh, 2 euro 50 which is why I didn't get one so I had to have a couple of swigs of this water still yet to find a bar or a restaurant open so that's the next mission it's going to have to be a bar now because I've had me delicious Chicken and mustard sandwich. 
nice picturesque square here, but yet again, absolutely not open. It's awful. I'm sure I have a big sign up as you're driving into the place saying uh, we're closed. Oh, hang on a sec. There's a bar over here open, but it's got no seats outside. Well, the door's open anyway. I'm going to inspect it. I'll have to look up this congas because uh, everywhere is seeing congas on the windows, which, according to that, is the 1st of January to the 5th of Feb, closed Cong for, for congas annuals. Obviously some kind of national holiday, so 1st of January to the 5th of Feb, probably not worth bothering with this place because I still have found absolutely nothing open other than a spa and there's a proxy supermarket as well. The search continues. Right, so ratings for this stopover. Um, I've called it Sustans because Sustans, Sustans because that's what it says on Park for Night and the area on Google Maps is there. It's when you cross over the bridge and into the town, it's got the uh, long name that I can't pronounce. There's the actual what three words where we actually stayed. Uh, park the van. Uh, price nine euro fifty for one night. Uh, it didn't seem to be any reduction, that was just a set rate. It set a maximum night on the machines, but I think you could stay there longer. It looks like people have stayed longer as well, to be honest. Um, the facilities I've put down are four, because you've got everything you need in a uh, sort of park up for the night. Um, the only reason it doesn't get five is, I suppose, because it hasn't got like additional stuff, like activities and things like that, but you wouldn't really expect that unless you went on a full-blown campsite. But if we do, then something like that might warrant a five. Uh, not a lot for the kids to do. There was a few eateries as well when you go around the lake, uh, but like I say, nothing was open. So location-wise, even though it's ideal location, again, if you want quiet and you're not sort of looking to spend any money or anything, an ideal location so again subjective you might give it a five for that reason we give it a three because we like to go out and you know put a little bit back in the community and the only thing we could really do in this case was spend an extortionate amount of money in a spa i'd rather spend it in a bar or something like that or a restaurant and uh, just everywhere was shut it seemed to be a, a an annual holiday i was speaking to some guy who seemed to think it was like an east like we have the equivalent of east in the uk they have that but it runs from the first of january through to the fifth of feb so if you do want um bars restaurants and that kind of stuff open then um your best bet is avoiding that um period value for money i'm giving it a four because even though you have to pay um it, it's still a good value for money i mean you're just with like-minded sort of people in their vans it's got everything you need you're right on the lake you've got the sea within sort of spitting distance as well so value for money you can't really complain it's a lot better value for money than sort of campsites that you get in the uk if you can get anywhere for 950 these days i don't know in fact it's not even 950 it's nine euros 50 which is, i think it's about probably about eight quid overall i'm giving it a three though which is a little bit lower again that could be in four or five if uh, we turned up there um, and you know wanted to be in the middle of nowhere but when you're so close to a village within walking distance like well it was actually a town it was quite a big town when you're so close to a place you expect uh, to have amenities and facilities available in the town itself and for everything to be shut it was honestly like a ghost town I'm um, just hoping there's not going to be two more like it because otherwise we might as well just stay in the middle of nowhere there's no point building your hopes up saying oh we'll go out for like a nice meal or a drink tonight and then getting there and every, everywhere shut I suppose we could have maybe done a bit of um, digging or um, investigative work first to find that out but you know you shouldn't have to go to that extent a town should be a town with you know on, you go on google maps and there's bars restaurants everything but it doesn't say anywhere that they're all closed anyway that's the overall for that again um location overall subjective if you want quiet then then go there i mean there's plenty of people around it's just there's nothing really to do other than walk around the lake and go 
go to the beach and stuff like that. I mean, there's a few surfers there, so if you wanted to do that and you were, and you just wanted to stay in your van and run on a budget, you know, there's no problem doing that at all. And, and you'd potentially give it a five, you know, especially if you only walked up and do a bit of surfing and stuff like that. Anyway, that's uh, Sousse Twins in France. Thanks. Speak to you later. Bye.